Are you one of the 75% of performers afflicted with stage fright? If so, put your mind at ease, for I am here today to help all of us afflicted with stage fright, also known as glossophobia. I will be giving you tips on what to do in the days preceding your performance, tips for the day of your performance, and things to do during your performance. The most important thing in the days preceding your performance is preparation. Any lack of confidence in your performance will only escalate under stress. You must start with a quality product and practice often. Some ideas for practicing are to videotape yourself, no matter how excruciating it is to watch, so that you will know what you look and sound like from the audience's perspective. This can also be done in a mirror so that you can make changes as you go. Also, try speaking to a captive audience of, say, your little brother, who will be happy to give you harsh feedback. Another idea is to listen to other gifted speakers. This will help you to gain ideas and garner confidence as you realize that you are just as capable of making a terrific speech as they are. I just don't suggest Miss America contestants. Once you are prepared, it is important to eat and sleep right in the days leading up to your performance. Getting to bed early and getting a full night's rest are important to make your brain more able to handle the stress. How embarrassing would it be to wake up in the middle of your performance to find that you have your shirt on backwards? <laughs> okay, well, let's move on to the day of your performance. Did you know that drinking citrus juice at least 15 minutes before you perform will lower your blood pressure and stress levels for up to 45 minutes? How about your low-carb diet? Skip it for the day. A snack loaded in carbohydrates will release calming serotonin to your brain. Lotion scented with vanilla or lavender have also been proven to reduce anxiety. In fact, they are so effective, they are used in hospitals before major procedures. The right hemisphere of your brain is where emotions like fear and panic live. So it be can be helpful to use math to engage the left side. Try counting backwards from 100 by 7. Don't worry about anyone checking your math, it won't be graded. 93, 86. 70. Another tip I didn't know was to stand at least 10 minutes before you perform. This will keep your, oh, this will prevent a sudden dip in blood pressure right before you go on, allowing your brain time to, what was I saying? Oh, be sure to arrive early and scan the room in which you'll be performing. This will allow you to visualize your surroundings and eliminate the fear of the unknown. Wait, this isn't the room I scanned. Did you know that chewing gum will loosen your jaw, therefore relaxing your entire body? I know, chewing gum is a speech taboo, but it really works. Just don't forget to spit it out before you perform. Don't let one mistake ruin your entire performance. It's important to forget it and move on. Here are some tips for during your performance. Take deep breaths. This will relax both your mind and your body. Everyone with me now, in and out. There you go, don't you feel better? Smile, even if it's forced. It will trick your brain into thinking it's happy and feeling calmer. Remember, a little nervous energy can be good. It will heighten your awareness and sharpen your skills. So, to all you glossophobics out there, remember, prepare well, find ways to relax, and don't forget to smile. Are there any questions? Yes. Well, I applaud you on um, your topic because uh, I also am um, a speech judge, and I even get nervous on the stage sometimes when I'm acting. Uh, but I wanted to know, where did you get your information? The 
question was, where did I get my information? Most of my information came from YouTube videos. They're made by performers for performers. Um, there were two that I watched on Stage Fright and Eliminating, or Tricks for Eliminating Stage Fright. They also have ones on preparing your topic and things such as that. Yes, ma'am. was what are the three most important things for getting ready for your presentation? I would say the number one thing is choosing a topic that you're comfortable with and knowledgeable about. Um, the second thing would be preparing for it. Um, I know I gave this uh, for my grandparents and I was had not practiced very much and so I was very nervous for that even though it was just in front of my grandparents. Um, the third most important thing, if it's just on the day of, I like doing the counting backwards by sevens. Math is not very my strongest subject, so it does help get my mind off other things. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> the question was, have I ever suffered from stage fright? I do not have stage fright very extremely. I do get nervous, but I do not consider myself to have stage fright. If there are no other questions, that concludes my presentation. Thank you.